there you have it, guys. We essentially get the confirmation with the taxi cab over here. You see the New York City T4. And yeah, so that is Jean Grey coming to Marvel Future Fight as a T4. Uh, I don't know how to feel about this one. Let me let me let me let me jump in this real quick though. But I don't know how to feel about this. The other part that I'm a little like like wondering if we're gonna get more than what we see here. I doubt it because of the update details. But there's a point here when the bridge starts to kind of like shake and they all are like. I wonder if it's just from her. I was really hoping for Magneto T4. Like that's just the truth of the matter. I was really hoping for Magneto T4, not Jean Grey T4. And we'll, we'll discuss that here in a second. But basically, you can see this is CM Fragment of Marvel Future Fight. This telepath and psionic hero possesses a dark power that threatens the universe. Check out the new abilities of this super villain, who is the physical manifestation of life and fire. We will announce more information through the update details later, which means that we have nothing more coming for the update in here, right? And then over on Twitter, you see Jean Grey is no more. The Dark Phoenix rises to burn away the old world. So, okay, I'm going to be honest with you guys. Perfect 100. Let's keep it, right? Jean Grey coming to the game is a big change for the T4 meta. The reason I say this is because, look, at some point it was going to happen, right? You have this bevy of characters that are listed in here in the game right so go over here to teams real quick you have a whole host of characters that were in the game in the first place where there was a distinguish between tier threes between your free-to-play tier threes your native tier twos and then your native tier threes so for instance uh century over here was a native tier three character right Jean Grey is a native tier two character. So essentially when they put these characters out, you're essentially asking for an increase in power. I pay more for the characters. And that's the part where we get that this is a bad thing, right? So a bad thing in the fact that, A, I play this game quite frequently. I don't miss a day, a day. I don't miss a single day. Let's take a look at some of my, uh, my, my materials over here. Now, I recently started on a path to try to level up, like I think it was Hyper Giant or something like that, or Super Giant. So I was at roughly about a 13,000 mix between the two of these, but I needed her for the new um, for the new story mode missions that are currently going on this month. But then we have to take a look at these rewards, right? Your Carbonadium, which you can only get from World Boss Legend, and your soul of the fault teen which you could also only get from the uh giant boss raid and then uh yeah excuse me i said carbonadium and life seeds right so life seeds and carbonadium you can get from world boss legend right and then we have the books the books are fairly easy to get because like realistically the truth of the matter is we just don't have uh, enough materials in terms of these coming to us in order for us to level up a character to go here not to mention we're still balancing you know all of the awakens and you know tier three of characters as well with our ccf and our um essence of dimension right but essentially when we got these characters like uh you know thanos gene gray um uh century and even like some of the other trashy ones like Malaku man and stuff like that there's a bit of a problem with these characters the problem is the cost. So when you see a native tier two character, double the free to play character's cost that it would be in order for you to get to tier three, and then you get a native tier two, double or you know, triple the cost of a native tier three. So Jean Grey is basically gonna be double what you have been paying for some of the tier four, the uh, tier four costs on her, on, on these characters. The other bit of the problem with Jean Grey, and I don't think a lot of people remember Jean Grey. There's a lot of people that are going to be hype about Jean Grey coming. I don't think a lot of people remember Jean Grey and how like annoying she was inside PvP. Like essentially, you didn't have Jean Grey, so she can do this goddamn ability right here, her five where it would just interrupt you and even if you had ignore targeting on it it didn't make a difference because this skill was going to trap you in place no matter what i don't think people understood that 
This chick was annoying. Like in PvP, she dominated just as much as I think this. And here goes the truth of the matter, right? I want to be perfectly 100% legit and honest. Next to Black Panther, you know, some of my biggest favorite characters are Darkseid and uh, Thanos. Thanos could have been the tier 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 four that comes, the first tier native tier four uh, native tier two that was getting T four. It would have still been bad, right? It would have still been bad. And let me give you from perspective, like I don't think I would have noticed this as much had we got Black Panther tier four, whether that was Shuri or whether that was uh, T'Challa, and we got that. I don't think I would have noticed. I probably would have just falling into the hype right and be like yay we got you know gene gray or thanos tier four is something to work towards right because that's what these are especially for you free-to-play players like i'm a middle of the middle of the kind of field like dolphin so i spend money on a game but i don't really spend that much money you can see some of the rewards i got i guarantee you those souls of the fall teams those carbonadiums and those life seeds are not enough for me to tear for gene gray i guarantee you they probably won't even be enough for you to uh to get those characters to level 80 if i'm being perfectly honest like pretty much double those rewards and you're pretty much going to need those basically you're 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 going to have to jump in the shop if you want that character within the first week within the first month you're going to have to jump in here and make this purchase that's just bottom line truth and it's not going to be enough i guarantee you, you're probably going to have to purchase this twice so i don't see anybody unless they've already stockpiled up on these getting a jean gray within the first month unless you are just an absolute well and the problem is that you free to play players the mid tier players you're going to be going up against these wells and you're not going to be winning matches that's just the truth of the matter you will not be winning matches just put it that way and that's going to to, to lessen the amount of people that are going to be engaged in the game because she is toxic as hell the same way any native tier two who would have got t Ford. But let's talk about the larger conversation, right? The larger conversation is, and it revolves around certain things like what we just saw. There's A, there's not enough tier four materials. I'm not going to fault. I am not going to fault Net Marble for not releasing enough tier four materials. The bottom line is that even though this is a free to play game, they still need to pay their developers and their staff. So free to play doesn't mean Somebody is slave working behind the behind the wheel and they're doing this. That freaking that's that sneak peek that we just got, that little one minute, one minute, two minute mini trailer that we basically just got, that teaser, that was awesome. Absolutely awesome. I glossed over it, but that was awesome. That takes a team of people to do and to put that out for you. So those people need to be paid, right? But here goes my problem with this. And I think, like I said, I only note it because. We kind of got off the off the track of where was T'Challa's T4? Where was Shuri's T4? There are a slew of characters in this game, a lot of characters who have yet to receive uniforms, who have yet to receive awakenings, who have yet to receive tier threes, who have yet to receive their respective tier fours in order for them to get shine, right? I understood. I understand this is a tomb collector, so it's not like an absolute must that you have gene gray well hate to say it but if it's anything like it was in previous years it is an absolute must that you have gene gray if you want to collect crystals from you know uh timeline battle but there are a lot of characters in this game like t'challa like shuri who should have their t3 their tier uh, excuse me their tier four or their next step in the system hell i'm still looking at the list of epic quest characters that we have that haven't received their due treatment freaking nova freaking uh wolverine freaking doctor strange star lord is probably going to get something mid-month I, I really do believe now that star lord with the trailers for the guardians of the galaxy from the summer and then the holiday thing star lord might end up getting something soon here but there are a whole host of characters that fit within this wheel that you're just looking at like yo why don't these characters have awakenings why don't these characters have tier threes why don't these characters have you know, like it, there's so many like think about it this way you're getting gene gray tier four i want you to pay attention to this you're getting gene gray tier four the most powerful badass inside marvel future fight and we just got mbaku who got released and he's only a t2 there's no awakening 
there's nothing there for him. So essentially at this point, M'Baku got released to be a Shadowlands character because you can't use him realistically inside of any of the high level content. So you just got that. Why are we even releasing characters that are still just within the tier two block? It doesn't even make sense. You see what I'm saying? Like having M'Baku released and he's just basically a tier two that's it. Like, it doesn't make sense. Like, none whatsoever. Like, these are characters that legitimately should have received some type of uniform, some type of shine, some type of luster, so that way they could basically be beefed up. And we've got plenty of characters who have not received anything in this game. Anything. Uniforms and different whatever. Nothing. And we're already getting Jean Grey. And I promise you, the problem is, is that she's going to be very expensive. She is going to be very expensive. So this is not like the immediate turnaround, uh, you know, expectation. Like I remember when, a when I first joined the game and they released their first native tier threes and stuff like that. And you're like, yo, I'm going to go whole ham in this. And then you like run out of resources because you're like, I don't have enough resources to do this. You, you've got to pay attention to this. I am happy to see Jean Grey basically get a tier four. And the reason why is because I'm a person that likes to have a goal. And this is a long term tune goal, right? Like this is going to probably take me two to three months in order to get this character to tier four. And she will be the absolute powerhouse that she is intended to be for me unless they change this up somehow. And that's that will be what it is, right? It will be what it is like it's coming. That's going to happen. The game has to make money. So you are going to see Dr. Dooms, Thanos's, Silver Surfers, and all of these popular characters who are going to receive tier fours. Because the truth of the matter is, and I hate to say this, but I understand Net Marble's position. If I release an M'Baku, and M'Baku's not popular, I don't make money off M'Baku. Like, for instance, Polaris is coming to the game. I can almost guarantee you now at this point that Polaris is going to be with inside the X Gene shop, right? And you'll get the three uniforms for Beast, uh, Cyclops, and um, and uh, uh, Angel for for uh, as free to play players, right? But it was a problem even noted inside this update. Why the freak is Cyclops not getting a tier four? but getting a uniform to just remain at tier three. It just doesn't make sense to me, right? Just doesn't. So you can look at the bevy host of characters and you can literally say to yourself, you know what? Look, the game is a tune collector. It is a tune collector. In order for a tune to make money for the studio that is developing the game, that tune has to be popular. People have to want that tune. People aren't going to want an M'Baku. People aren't going to want a quake. People aren't going to your your vast majority of players aren't going to want to invest in costumes for certain specific characters. Some of you YouTube, some of the YouTubers and stuff like that will just collect costumes. Some of the whales will just collect costumes. But getting some money out of your free to play players is going to require that you invest in characters that people like that they can make money off of. Because the truth of the matter is, while I might be a veteran player, Cynic Alex is a veteran player, Beast Mode is a veteran player, all these free-to-play events, these are veteran players. The truth of the matter is, and we create YouTube content, we purchase those, right? But I've said this a number of times. Free-to-play players get free-to-play, play, and, and Marvel Future Revolution is the perfect example of this, right? You could send the, spend the time trying to fleece 100 players to get the money out of them. Or you spend the time trying to fleece a thousand players paying some money to get the money out of them. Fleecing the hundred players is not going to pay off for you in the long haul. It's just not. So unfortunately, that is what it is. We've got Gene Gray coming to the game. I'm kind of excited about it, mostly because it's a long term project for me inside the game now. And I'll continue playing because I'm going to I'm going to reach that that project of leveling her up. So that way I can build her out and kick her out. It's just what I'm going to do. But beware when you when you take the time to invest her. I'm really excited about this update. I'm really hoping the mid month is going to be revealed for a T4 Black Panther or something like that. Even though, you know, the man, you, you're not going to have enough materials to tier four characters if you're investing in Jean Grey. So you, you're going to have to pay attention to that. This is a money making thing right here. A T4 native tier two or native tier three. This is money. That that's all it is. Be aware, guys. Hope you enjoy. Hope you enjoyed the <clears throat> the video. Until next time, peace.